Salim Hariri, I'm a professor in the Electrical Computer Engineering Department. My research is trying to basically address the cybersecurity problems. Uh, every day you hear in the news that uh, governments, uh, commercial companies, organizations being attacked. And uh, we are trying to basically come up with uh, innovative technology to address uh, this important problem. What we are doing today is not working, so we better take a fresh look at it. And we took the autonomic nervous systems in our bodies as an inspired solution. Like I call it cyber nervous system. Something that uh, you take any software systems, any networks, and try to, without the user or administrators, aware of attacks or faults, it will self-regulate, self-manage that. It's costing us like 114 billion uh, dollars annually in cyber crime. So we need the different ways uh, to address this cyber security. We basically look at the uh, nervous system in our bodies and that can analyze any intrusions into the systems, any uh, agent comes into the bodies, try to analyze it and figure out it is uh, foreign and how to respond to it. So we felt we should do the same things. We should build capabilities that when something wrong happens to the computer or the software or the network, or somebody try to compromise or maliciously change the code, we want the system to recognize it and, uh, and act on it. If our technology has been deployed and make our cyber infrastructure secure, we'll have a huge impact uh, on everybody's life. You're afraid that somebody might steal your information, your account, business account, banking account, your credit card numbers. And also government, there's a lot of information. The solution that we are developing basically is a step toward uh, that goal. A few years ago, we took the technology that was developed at the University of Arizona and uh, licensed it to a startup cybersecurity company, we call it Avertech, uh, to basically commercialize these capabilities. And uh, with the support of the federal government, uh, the company received more than $1.6 million to take the capability we developed in the labs so we can put it in the market. How are you guys doing? Good? The smartphone is replacing uh, entertainments, uh, internet browsing, uh, PDA, everything is on one device. We are trying to replace all these different uh, intrusion detections, antivirus softwares, uh, PBX phone systems, wireless access point switchings, backup firewall routers, we consolidate them all into a software uh, that we call it automated integrated management server that will take all these capabilities, put them there and secure and protect your enterprise. We're going to show you how we can secure, protect our critical infrastructure. So these uh, programmable logic uh, control units control these industrial process devices, uh, home, smart uh, grid, and he's going to launch an attack. So if the ideal setup for the system is uh, to be on, off, and he's going to reverse that. That means if you want this transformer to be on, he's turning it off. If this uh, vacuum uh, or uh, pumps need to be on, he's turning it off, which basically lead to a uh, disaster. So you might have completely uh, uh, blackout uh, for a whole city by manipulating this. Now he's going to use our system, uh, and you will see when he launched this attack, uh, this attack will not be successful. So he's now turning on the Modbus protections, which is the protocol used to communicate with this uh, PLC, and he's going to launch the attack 
and as you can see, nothing changed. Where before, the attacker was having upper hand. He can turn on and off these uh, uh, control units uh, without anyone stopping him or her. And now nobody can and we can uh, detect that.